Hi, I'm Tony. This is Tapatia. She's a, a 31 foot 8 J Benford design dory, sailing dory. Will be junk schooner rigged, um, constructed of plywood, hard chined. Um, and these videos are about the process of building her, really. I'm trying to show, show the, the week by week process of building the boat. When she's finally finished, plan is, of course, to put her in the water, sail her and carry on uh, reporting on how she performs in terms of the materials and the technologies used. Pull that fish, push, that fish. 
Well, hi everyone. Uh, he says, a bit of a chilly one. Um, forecast actually to warm up a little bit again next week, but a bit chilly at the moment. I've got two small electric heaters running for the reason that I have just put the second layer on the aft deck. So the aft deck is now complete. The epoxy is drying. I'm trying to keep it above five degrees in here, which looking at the thermometer, I'm just about succeeding. Um, yeah, aft decks on and drying. And that's what this week's been all about, cutting the boards um, to shape and then gluing them on. As you can tell, we've got to cover it up with a tarp at the moment. That's part of the, the goal to keep uh, warm enough. Good, so we'll just cut there, Kerry. We'll roll back this tarp and we'll, we'll film a little bit, see what it looks like, eh? Good. Yeah, so here it is. Um, Got one, two, three, four, five, six boards making up the aft deck. I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. As I've mentioned before, that compound curve, with the, the curve up that way, fore or aft, and the curve, the crown across the decks there. Looks great. He's giving you a scan. Um, just, you know, those of you who have been following me for ages know what I do, I'm sure, but, but just in case anybody's new and is not clear on what goes on, I 
Well, for these aft deck boards, I've epoxied, the two layers of ply, 10 millimeter ply. I've epoxied them together, so there's epoxy between the two layers. They're then nailed on with bronze ring nails or grip fast nails, if you like, silicon bronze, um, which stay in. And in some places where I need to pull the boards together or the edges, I put some stainless screws in. They don't need to be stainless, they're screws, that's the point. They're, they will be coming out again. So um, when the pox is dry, I'll take the screws out again, fill the holes, um, and then that'll be that. The, where the board joints are, I, what I like to do is I run a, a V-shaped router along those joints, take out a V-shaped groove, and then fill that with thickened epoxy. And then we'll give a, a couple of coats of just resin, epoxy resin, uh, to seal the ply, seal the wood. And then finally, a layer of uh, six ounce glass cloth in epoxy on top of that. That'll be the end of that for the time being. It should be painted later, of course, because epoxy has no UV protection. But um, all the time she's in the shed, I don't think there's a major UV issue. So it'll be, be, I say, be epoxy until I'm ready to paint her. Before she goes out, she'll be painted. Yeah, it's looking great. I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, obviously, sealing this will be in the next stage, getting those grooves and get it all sealed up, as I just, just explained. Then after that, we're having an upright board coming up on here, and I can get up there and, and finish the main decks then, the, the sides and the main decks. So it's good. Yeah, that's where we are. Cut. <coughs> Sunset, stand up, see. Tell me where you're going so decisively. What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound. We can move together where adventures abound. Running free before the breeze. Are there many days such as? Sunset and Charlie.